after the huge correction in Neptune digital assets, now we have to face a correction. Yesterday the stock corrected 20%, quite a lot, but the stock ran from 30 cents to above 120, so quite a huge move. We got stock near the top here of previous price action in 2021. Is it normal to get a correction at this stage? Yes, we have increasing attention on the stock, a lot of volume. So congrats to those who caught some of these gains. Neptune has a bunch of crypto assets, including Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, and others. And they also have a position in SpaceX for a small company. It's quite unusual to have a small company who has access to SpaceX shares. It's the fact that it's very difficult to have the possibility actually to invest in that company. It's an unusual investment, but it's also something that can attract investors who want to have exposure to SpaceX and who like the company, who like Elon Musk. And that company is killing it right now with all the different technological events that they have that they have been able to achieve. There's the crypto part and then the SpaceX part, but obviously the bigger part is the crypto part. So if you believe in proxies, Nipton Digital Assets is one to have. So on the daily chart, we see the 20% correction from 120 to 96 or 116 to 96, something like that. Like I said, like I indicated, it's kind of normal to have this type of correction after this jump in price. Let's see if we can identify few base levels to where the stock can stop correcting, even though it's just one day of correction and three days of pump from below 40 cents up to 120. So you just have to keep that in mind. So in the four hour, we start to see that a possibility of support could be $1, even though we are at 96 cents at the closing price yesterday. Are we going to be able to hold $1? That would be the ideal situation. If not, it's going to be 90 cents, in my opinion. The red candles or red volume here is going down. That's pretty good. We have two red candles in the four hour chart at this stage. And initially we stopped at 96, pumped back up to 117 and then corrected back and stopped at 96 again. So that's why I say $1 or 95 maybe, 95 cents could be a support or even 90. That could be a possibility, but at this stage it's just a guess. The momentum is up and to the right, so no worries related to that. Now on the one hour, we have a lot more information. As you see here, after this pump, we got another green candle and then we corrected up to 92. Then we bounced, corrected from 110 to $1. Pumped up to 126, corrected down to 96. Pumped, corrected down to 96. So for me, between 96 and 92 would be the zone of consolidation at this stage. The red candles in the volume are going down. So there's a high possibility that we hold 90 cents. Between 90 cents and 96. And if the stock is strong enough, it would stay above $1. If it stays above $1, it's going to be a sign of strength, in my opinion. It's even better because you use support of a even number that happens quite a lot. Keep in mind, however, that the MA50 on the, four, on the one hour is at 60 cents. So it's trying to catch up because this move was so abrupt that even the MA50 on the one hour is not fast enough to catch that move. So let's see an even quicker time frame. Let's have a look at 30 minutes. So if you look at 30 minutes, you see it here, what I was telling you between 92 and 96 and the MA50 on that time frame is already at 81 
82 cents. So that could be a potential result. It will uh, support, it will get to 90 probably today. So it could be the first support level related to trends or moving averages that we see. So yeah, my guess is between 90 and 96 would be the support and $1 if it's even stronger and if we bounce strongly it's even better saying that the stock is quite strong you still need to believe on the strategy of the company having those coins staking those coins generating passive income out of those coins and trying to find ways to bring cash into the company trade a devaluating asset like USD or Canadian dollars and putting it in assets that are gaining in price, in value, Bitcoin, Solana, and some of the other crypto assets, but mainly Bitcoin and Solana. And same thing applies to if they bring cash into the company and they buy more, sh more shares of SpaceX, which is a company that has tons of potential for a future listing, if they ever get to do that, it would have a crazy evaluation or crazy launch because of the technical feats, scientific feats that they are doing right now. It's another level of performance related to whatever NASA has done before. This company has tons of potential and Neptune Digital Assets had the possibility to invest and put a few million dollars in the SpaceX shares. So if you believe in SpaceX or if you believe in the crypto strategy of Neptune Digital, you have to find levels of support for the stock and nibble down those regions for a future pump in price. Right now in the crypto world is Bitcoin's period, so dominance of Bitcoin is quite high. It's outpacing every single altcoin, but eventually we will have altcoin phases where Solana, Ethereum, and others will potentially move up in price faster than Bitcoin, and that's usually when we will see Neptune Digital push forward, especially if the proportion of those altcoins is higher than the one of Bitcoin. Just keep that in mind. And every time the company raises cash or gets some kind of credit line to be able to buy more crypto, then the price of the shares will continue to go up because we're adding to the balance sheet. And also when we get staking rewards and add it to the company, we are adding value to the company. And this modifies the ratio between assets and market cap and that would drive price higher like it did for micro strategy so that's a strategy if you think that there's an upside here you continue to buy the stock if you think it's overvalued and there's no more value then you get out that's pretty much it this is my analysis at this stage on the 30th of october 2024 i'll make future updates for everybody if they're useful.